This week's episode of ESPN's Friday Night Fights will provide the payoff, if you will, from the 2014 Boxino Tournament. The main event, Boxino middleweight champion Willie Monroe Jr. takes on gatekeeper extraordinaire Brian Vera. Monroe shocked the boxing world by outpointing Donatus Bondaravis, Vitaly Kopalenko, and Brandon Adams to win the tournament and didn't lose too many rounds in the process. The Mongoose proved to be a slick boxer on the outside with exceptional hand speed and some know-how on the inside as well, which he showed plenty of against Adams in the final. After his career stalled in 2011 following a loss to Darnell Boone and a release from DeBella Entertainment, the Rochester native is right on the doorstep of title contention, even being considered for a shot at then-WBO champ Matt Korobov late last year. However, in boxing, you generally have to beat the gatekeeper before you can get your shot. And Brian Vera has been this generation's Curtis Parker or Ralph Tiger Jones, if you will. If you're a real middleweight contender, you have to be able to beat Vera. It remains to be seen how much resistance Vera can still provide to this level of fighter at this stage in his career, particularly following a stoppage loss at the hands of Gabe Rosado in BKB. In his last two real boxing matches, however, he was competitive with Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., if not better, for the first 12 rounds. Vera is a hard-working, hustle fighter who wants to jump inside with chopping right hands and bang away to the body once he gets inside there. He won't be able to match speed with Monroe on the outside, but he was able to shock a slick southpaw in Sergei Zinzeruk in the very same building not too long ago. If he's able to rough Monroe up the same way, it's possible that he pulls off yet another upset. If not, we'll be looking at a fresh name in a frankly shallow middleweight division who could factor into the WBO title picture in the very near future. The action gets underway at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time this Friday on ESPN2.